All right now to the major COVID news from the governor tonight. Uh, the state of emergency now officially coming to an end on February 23rd of next year. But it certainly begs the obvious question. Is that too soon? A new variant is raising concerns heading into the holiday season and people are afraid of a spike. ABC 7 News reporter Unser Hassan is live for us in the newsroom with expert guidance uh, to keep in mind here. Unser. Good evening, Dan. Medical experts say these new variants are so new that they still don't know what to expect. They're thought to be more contagious than BA5. But two and a half years into the pandemic, medical experts say they also have the tools to fight it. Whenever I hear about a new variant, I ask myself three questions. Number one, is it more transmissible? Number two, is it immune evasive? And number three, does it cause more serious disease? Dr. Peter Chin Hong, infectious disease specialist at UCSF, says as of now, we probably only know the answer to the first question about the new COVID variants. BQ1 and BQ1.1 seem to be more transmissible than its parent BA5. But Dr. Chin Hong explains being more transmissible shouldn't be cause for concern. Two and a half years into the COVID pandemic, he says there's a better understanding of the disease and more protection for those who are up to date on vaccinations. He expects if there's a winter surge, it won't be like years past. Even if it's easy to catch, we are not seeing a high level of hospitalization that we saw in the Delta days or even in the early Omicron days. He does recommend getting the new bivalent booster for three groups, those over 65, those who are immunocompromised, and for those who are pregnant. So for those three groups, they should run out and get it. But nevertheless, if you've gotten uh, three shots already, uh, you're probably going to be well protected against serious disease for many, many months, uh, even if you don't get this booster. On Monday, Governor Gavin Newsom announced he's ending the COVID-19 state of emergency in California, effective February of next year. That's to allow for the public health care system to get through any possible winter surge. In a statement, Newsom says, with the operational preparedness that we've built up and the measures that we'll continue to employ moving forward, California is ready to phase out this tool. To say that you're going to definitively end something before knowing what the winter looks like makes me just a little bit nervous. One of Dr. Chin Hong's concerns is for communities of color, which were disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. For example, he says there's been a shift in funding from testing to focus on vaccinations and early therapy. But without testing, many won't qualify for those therapies. Still a lot of work that needs to be done, and there's still a big divide between outcomes in communities of color and the general population. So, um, you know, the work isn't done as yet. Newsom is asking lawmakers to pass two parts of his emergency policies into law before the state of emergency ends. One would allow nurses to continue to prescribe COVID treatments. The second to allow lab workers to continue to process COVID tests. Now, Republican lawmakers have repeatedly urged Governor Newsom to end the state of emergency, saying other states have already done so. In the newsroom, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.